Hello guys, this is Coach B with MasterYourChess.com and this is the second part of the video, the outside pass pawn. In this video, we're going to take a look at two positions where we don't have an outside pass pawn, but we do have the potential of creating one. And I want to talk about when to create that outside pass pawn and how to use it to win the game. In this position, if we look on the right side, white has two pawns, black has two pawns as well, so they can stop each other. And then if we look in the center, we can see that black can attack white's pawn in one move and then take it on the second move. And then white will be able to defend it in one, two moves as well if black chooses to attack it. Also, if we look on the left hand side of the board, white does have two versus one on the left side. So he does have the potential to create a pass pawn, an outside pass pawn. Now on the first glance, White might want to go and defend his pawn as black will be able to attack it in one move and then take it on the second move. But this will actually be a mistake. Let's take a look what's going to happen. So if white moves the king to e3, black will attack white's pawn and white will be able to defend it, stepping on a landmine. Now we do have some tempi that we can waste here with the pawns on the right side, also on the left hand side. Let's say black moves the pawn to h6. We can move the pawn to h4, let's say h5, we could move the pawn to g3, uh, g6, and now all the tempis are gone on the right hand side and white will go and try to create a pass pawn. However, black has a pass pawn as well that he's able to move. The pawn on the c file is a pass pawn as well and black is going to set him on the loose. So he's going to move the pawn to c4. And then we're going to try to create a pass pawn, but black will push his pawn to c3. And now white has to stop that pawn from quitting or create his pass pawn as well. If he's trying to stop that pawn from quitting, coming the, with the king to d3, now actually black is going to win this game. Um, he's going to take our pawn on d5. We're going to try to go for a pass pawn. Black can take. If white takes the pawn, then black is simply going to move next to it and be able to take it. And he's going to have an extra pawn and if white moves the pawn forward black will come in the square of the pawn stopping that pawn from moving and now let's say white will take the pawn on c3 but black has two pass pawns that he's going to be able to push let's say he pushes the pawn to b5 now white if he's going to try to stop it black is going to push the pawn on the e file he's going to push to e4 and if white pushes the pawn to a7 dragging the king to stop it now after queening black and take, white will not be able to stop both of black's pawn. If he takes the pawn on b5, then the pawn on the e file pushes and we are outside of the square of the pawn and we're not going to catch it. And if we come back and we're going to come after the pawn on the e file, let's say king to c3, now black is just going to come and defend his other pawn and we've reached a fox and the chicken type of position where, where black is winning here. So coming back after black pushes the pawn to c3, instead of coming and attacking the pawn with the king on d3, we could try to create our own pass pawn, let's say a pawn to b6. But even here after take, white's best move is pawn to a6 and here black will push to c2, white will go to a7, black will take a queen first and white will get a queen as well. And here the game is not that clear. Black has a small advantage. It could end up in a draw here with correct play from white. Coming back from the beginning, the way to win this game and a nice strategy to know is to go and try to create a pass pawn right, right away. So here white should play the pawn to a4. Even though black will come and attack the pawn on the d5 and he's going to be able to win it, white will simply go to a5 and after black takes the pawn on d5, here white can use a really tricky strategy. He's going to push the pawn to a6. Now I do want to mention that pushing the pawn to b6 would be a terrible mistake as here black can take the pawn and if white takes the pawn back, black will simply move to c6 and be able to win it and if white is going to push the pawn to a6, Black is still going to be able to come to c6 and he is inside the square of the pawn and from here pushing the pawn to a7 will not do anything as black is going to be able to stop it. But if we come back and we push the pawn to a6 first 
you could see that black cannot come and get inside the square of this pawn as he is blocked by the pawn on the b5 rank. And if black is going to move the king up and then try to go after it, this is not going to work anymore as white will push the pawn to b6. And here black has only two options. If he takes the pawn, then white will simply push the a pawn to a7 and now black is not going to be able to stop him from becoming a queen. And if black doesn't take the pawn, let's say he's going to move the king to c6, what white's going to do is take the pawn on a7 and now this creates a wall that black cannot get through uh, to stop the pawn on a7. The only thing he's got is coming to b6 to attack the pawn on a7. However, that pawn will become a queen and black is going to lose this game. And in the last position of this video, I want to go over another position where we don't have a pass pawn. However, we will be able to create one. If we look on the right hand side, black has one pawn and white has one pawn, but they do block each other. These are not pass pawns, they're just pawns on an open file, as black, if he's going to try to push the pawn down, he's going to go through the attacking square on g5 and white will be able to take it. Same story with white, if he's going to try to push the pawn, he eventually reaches h6, where black is going to be able to take it. So these pawns on the right hand side, they stop each other. And then in the middle, white is blocking the pawn on e5, so that pawn is not going to be able to move. Therefore, on the left hand side, if we take a look, we have three pawns versus two. So here, white will be able to create a pass pawn. So what white has to do here is push the pawn to c5 first. And here, black can take the pawn or not take the pawn. The result will be the same. If he doesn't take the pawn, let's say he's going to move the pawn to g6 then we will simply take the pawn and from here if the king is trying to go after the pawns we're simply going to push the pawn to a5 uh, king let's say attacks the pawn on b4 we could push the pawn to a6 if he takes the pawn on b6 we simply just take his pawn and after he takes that pawn we're just going to take the pawn on the e5 and also go after the pawn on uh, g6 and win the game from here and if he does take the pawn here to on c5 we are simply going to push the pawn to a5. White is inside the square of both of the pawns in the center, so he is going to be able to stop them. Pushing the pawn to c4 will not help as white will be able to stop it. We are simply going to go for a pass pawn of our own. And now black will not be able to stop the pawn on the a file and we are going to get a queen. And if instead of pushing the pawn on the c5 square, black is going to go after the pawns on the left hand side, let's say king to d6, we're still going to go for a pass pawn after he takes and we take, black will be able to get inside the square of the pawn, but we do have the outside pass pawn, so white will be able to take the pawn on the e file, and here if black goes after the pawn on the a file, we're just going to go after the pawn on the c file. And now there's nothing that black can do. He's going to take the pawn on the A file. We're going to take the pawn on the C file. And here you could see that white is closer to black's pawn than black is. So here white will be able to um, go after the pawn, take it, and then promote his other pawn to a queen. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I encourage you to go to my website, masterchess.com, where you'll be able to practice a lot more other positions that involve the outside pass pawn.